So uh, hello, so uh, my name is James Wing. I'm an associate professor of uh, human immunology and specifically single cell immunology uh, here at the IFREC. So uh, essentially I've been actually at the IFREC for uh, about 10 years now. So uh, I'm originally from the United Kingdom um, and some time ago I came over to begin research uh, investigating uh, the interaction of uh, B cells and T cells, uh, and more specifically, uh, a particular type of uh, T cell called the regulatory T cell, um, which was discovered by uh, Shimon Sakaguchi, who, who I basically came and worked for at the IFREC. Um, and investigating the interactions between these different cell types, we essentially um, uh, became interested in a particular subtype of these cells called uh, T follicular regulatory cells. So these essentially are a type of regulatory T cell which has a specialised function um, to travel into the B cell follicle and particularly the germinal centre, which is the site where kind of high affinity and particularly effective antibodies are produced. Um, and there they kind of dampen kind of things down to still allow effective uh, immune responses, but preventing the development of uh, kind of autoreactive antibodies, for example. Um, and as part of this work, so um, I became very interested in the kind of novel technologies which will allow us to kind of generate um, kind of more uh, finely detailed data. Um, so essentially, uh, more recently I've become interested in a technique called a mass cytometry, which is um, essentially a technique where we are able to label cells with, say, 40 or so different antibodies um, to interrogate them for a kind of a kind of a high level of data by using metal isotope labelled antibodies that we can then break back back down in, in kind of a, in ion clouds to um, assess you know forty or so markers on a single cell so we can get kind of very granular data using that technique uh, and so now I'm uh, you know so recently we opened a human immunology lab of a human single cell immunology in my case. Um, and we are using these sorts of techniques to kind of uh, really dig into the uh, granular detail of uh, human immunology and trying to get more and more um, uh, detailed information from uh, valuable kind of clinical samples particularly to help us understand what causes particular diseases and what sort of cell types are being changed in particular kind of syndromes and potentially how we can target them or change them in order to potentially, um, you know, uh, either at least understand or cure uh, particular uh, diseases in humans. So um, essentially now we're um, you know, working in this field and also moving into kind of a, also sequencing techniques and uh, basically we're very excited about what the future of uh, human immunology uh, in Japan and at the IFREC is. So 